Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving one variable, one step equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 13 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Alejandra has $600 in her checking account, so that's going to be right there in our equation. She wants to spend part of this money on a computer, and then she wants to have at least $250 left. So this T, that's going to be our computer. So I'm going to put CPU right there. So the computer plus the 250 she wants left needs to be equal to or can be less than the 600 that she already has in her checking account. So we need this T to equal this computer. So it's fairly complicated, but we already actually have the inequality for us. T plus 250 is less than or equal to 600. So we need to find the inequality that represents all possible values of t. So we've got two ways we can solve this. First, let's just take a look at our answer selections. We've got 350 showing up twice, and we've got 850 showing up twice. So let's just plug both of those in. So let's see, I'm going to put 350 in there first. So let's say 350 plus 250 less than or equal to 600. So 315, 200, 250 is 600. So that could possibly work. So the 350 could work because it's at least equal to 600. Let's look at this other one. We've got the 850. So 850 plus 250. Yeah, that is not going to work. Take a look. This 850 is already larger than the 600. So adding 250 is going to get us 1,100. Is definitely not less than and definitely not even equal to 600. So look at that. We've already eliminated two answer selections. So the 350 could work, but can we go a little bit greater than 350 or a little bit less than 350? So let's just take it and let's just add 15, take away 50. How about that? So we're going to take this 350, and this says t is greater than or equal to 50, so I'm going to add 50 first. So I'm going to make it 400. So 400 plus 250 is less than or equal to 600. Uh, look what we get there. We get 650 is less than or equal to 600. That is not going to work. So let's try this 350 minus 350. And so we take away 350 uh, minus 50, we're going to get 300. So let's get a little bit smaller. 300 plus your 250 is less than or equal to 600. So that's going to be 550 is less than or equal to 600. That looks like it's going to work. So it looks like our answer is going to be C. But let's see if we can double check by the other way we can use to solve it. And that's by using the uh, properties of equations and inequalities in algebra. So let's take our full inequality here, t plus 250 less than or equal to 600. We want to get this t by itself. We want to isolate the variable. Well, the only thing on the same side as that t is the plus 250. So we think inverse operations. What's the opposite of addition? That's subtraction. So if we have plus 250, let's take away 250. So if you get plus 250 minus 250, guess what you're going to get? They're going to cancel each other out. But we have to do the same thing on the other side of the equation. We have to keep it balanced. Think of it as a balanced beam. So 600 minus 250. So guess what we're going to get? T less than or equal to 350. Answer C.